All right. Falls of Richmond. <laughs> goes on after that. Okay, Falls of Richmond. The high part, the A major part, I believe, this is what I learned a long time ago, was stuck in there by a fellow named Tom Sauber, um, California fiddler and banjo player, and fantastic old time player. Um, I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. <laughs> anyway, here's how it goes. Very, it's really actually a fairly simple tune. It's not, it's not that difficult. Um, it just sounds pretty tricky, so... First get it in tune. That's a good thing. Okay, the the call. Now the beginning of that line, this or you can do it either way, it doesn't make any difference. So the call, I kind of change it around a little bit. So the call, here's the call again. And the answer to that call is... Okay, the answer again. Whoops. Okay, so the call and the answer, let's do that um, all together. Okay, so that's the call and the answer of the A part. So you do that two times. And then you go on to the B part, which is, um, well, it's not that hard either. So, this is, and this is the call of the B part. And here's the answer, which is the same, identical. So that's the A and the B part. Twice, and then the B part. Okay, so that's the A and B part. Pretty simple so far. The high part, the C part, I guess you could call it. What I do is you place your first finger. That's a little bit tricky to get in tune, but you place your first finger where where your third finger A would be on the E string. You place your first finger there. And the the one of the ways you can get up there is by putting the heel. I don't know if you can see that. Well, let's see. Putting the heel of your hand, making that a marker and getting your finger in the right spot. So when you go up from the first position to the third position, you use your heel of your hand here to stop right against the, the um, well, I don't, know the, I don't know what that's called of your hand, but the heel of the neck, you stop it at. So anyway, that's for people who don't know how to do this. <laughs> no, most of you probably do. So anyway, here we go. It goes like this.
So that's the same. I guess you could call that a call and an answer, but they're both the same. And then, with your pinky, you go up to that high D. Now here's the tricky part, because you got to hit that E note on your A string. And then you do that again. So you're still up in third position. Now you got to scoot wait right back down into first position to hit the, let's see, I guess that would be the C, D, and then the E part, okay? So the E part, A, B, C, D, E part, is exactly the same as the B part. Okay. I'll play it slow. Okay, well I hope that helps. I hope you get to play that tune because it's a whole bunch of fun and a lot of people know it. And um, just go for it. Falls of Richmond. Thanks. We'll see you next time.